Hey, I hope you're doing well today. You know, in these days of this new normal, in these days of COVID-19, uh, funny things are happening. This past Sunday, for example, after we did our, our Facebook Live uh, worship service, I went home, my entire schedule had gotten cleared. It was kind of weird. And when I'm agitated or when things are open like that, I find random things to do. And I thought, man, it's been a long time since I've emptied out my nightstand drawer. And I can never find anything in there anyway. So I started emptying out the drawer. I sat down, I spread everything in piles. We started emptying it out and grabbing pens, grabbing clippers, grabbing paper clips, grabbing business cards, grabbing um, phone jacks, grabbing chargers, everything that was in this drawer. And when it was all done and organized, I found out in one drawer. I had 65 pens, <laughs> only two pencils. But out of the 65 pens, I didn't line them up from longest to shortest. But I did count five markers and I counted 10 pens that write in blue ink and all the rest write in black ink. I know this because I wanted to throw away the ones that didn't work, only two didn't work. So if you're my friend and you're missing pens, you may be friends with a kleptomaniac. I talked to Dr. Marty Fletcher, the shrink of the shepherd and the shrink, and I asked him if he could help me with this problem of hoarding or kleptomania. And he said it wasn't in his field of expertise. So I'm kind of stuck. But here's what hit me. In this time when things are cleared out, our schedules are cleared out, um, maybe it's time to do a little housekeeping. You know, one of the things that I love about the scripture is there's hidden gems, <laughs> not just pens for your collection, but in the, one of the most famous chapters of the New Testament, which is Luke chapter 15, Jesus tells three parables. Most of us can name two of the three. You see, he's having um, dinner with uh, tax collectors and sinners and the Pharisees, the religious people are really upset with Jesus. And then he turns to them and he tells them these three parables. We know the one about the 99 sheep or the 100 sheep and the one that gets lost. There's contemporary songs that are naming it and really popular right now. We know the one of the prodigal son and his older brother and the father who goes looking for him. But in between those two is a parable about a woman looking for a lost coin. She has 10 silver coins and she's lost one. And she searches her house from top to bottom to find that coin. Just in the same way as God our Father searches for us and puts out an all out rescue mission. So this woman does for the coin. And what I love about this image of this woman looking for the coin as a reflection of how God is looking for us and for lost people is the act of going through your house, when you do, it is amazing what you can find. When I was going through my junk drawer, not only did I find 65 pens, but I found a magnet that's a really strong U-shaped magnet that I had from when I was a kid. I found business cards of people I hadn't thought of in a long time. I found some other really great treasures. And as we are seeking, obviously Jesus is talking about um, looking for people who are in need and people who are lost and people who are without the love of Jesus. Um, in the same way, Jesus says about the woman, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Just like this woman throws a party and calls her friends and neighbors when she finds that coin and says, rejoice with me. Take this time to see what you can find. And that's my thought for the day. And that's my story for now. God bless you.